as well okay immediately namaku inga some problem vandachina i will start talking okay. for this mobile okay okay start pannama 10 o'clock age start pannama yes yes good morning everyone just i am sharing my screen Ganesh, in this entire screen, um, uh, in the awesome. uh, yes, um, share option near right? Um, Nama Webex on the EM, uh, enable lagumata the educa. Do you know any reason? Uh, now share on the click panina click, uh, click uh, actually cancel. Try now, Sorry, uh, try now, sir. Huh? Ah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, no, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can't display, make sure you have allowed permission to share content. Okay. No, if you may actually share, share argument. Sorry, uh, options enable. Uh. Share me la na click pane na uh, disable and adi uh, disable da irka cancel and na cancel pane na value varda just a minute uh, optimize motion make sure that you have allowed permission to share content and then try again or ever nimcham. No share option. Uh, share argument actually. Cancel button click on cancel agudu, but uh, share uh, it is not. Just give me. Yeah, yeah. Sir, mobile uh, share pan number it. Just try pan it.
இப்போ விசிபிளா இருக்கு So, Ganesh, able to hear me? Yeah, just now I can hear you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Start from now, Papa. Uh, start from now. Okay, okay. Yes. Now, first, uh, in today's class, last class, uh, good morning, everyone. First of all, good morning, everyone. So in last class, we have discussed some concepts related to related to SQL. And today, let us start working on our metabase concepts. OK. First, how to open metabase? Metabase installation step one. Do. There is one step. Java hyphen jar. In a parang Java hyphen jar metabase dot jar. First, first step is go to the command prompt. Then wherever your metabase is there, you need to go there. CD, CD metabase. Okay, now we are in metabase. Then Adhika from Java hyphen jar. Java hyphen jar. Metabase dot jar. database dot jar file once we give this metabase dot jar file what will happen is this metabase that whatever is there no that will get installed or that will be that will be executed in this system at the back end then we can start our metabase for metabase, what we'll do once this is done, we'll go to this particular step. Let this complete. Initialization process, we call this. Just check for Nanga. It is initializing. See. It is actually initializing. Metabase initialization complete. Then next, our next step is opening the metabase. How we'll open localhost. Because I have already opened this, it is opening with my ID directly. Okay, last week we have created some reports in this, right? Some questions we call these as questions or reports. Now, in this, if I want to see what are the tables involved, how I'll see, I'll go to the database part Postgres, Postgres, business travel, department, education field, employee attrition, environment satisfaction. The next global store, global store and supermarket sales these are the tables now today what we'll do is we'll take employee attrition business travel department education field all these 
we'll take and we'll try to write some queries. Sir. Now, NM database. Okay, I am selecting this table. I'll summarize. Summarize means whatever you want to do in this, no? All aggregate related actions you can do using this summarize option. Count of. I'll make this count of. Count is zero. So we did not install anything in this employee addition. Just a minute. Let me open this Postgres and install some data in that. Again, we'll go back to our Postgres. And in this SQL shell, in this first step is the local, local host. The next Postgres 5432. Username is Postgres, password is, okay, now slash L. What are the tables that are there in this or what are the databases? Rather than tables, we can say the databases. Then in this slash C, if I want to see tables in any of the databases, I'll select a slash C. And this one, now I got, I am into this particular table, slash C and whatever the database if you are giving now, it means that we will go into that particular database. Now before initially it will be in Postgres, now it is in NM data analytics. Now slash D, if I give slash D, you are having the table information. Next select on top one from see you have zero rows that is the reason you don't have values now let me try to insert employee addition In this employee addition, we have not entered values. That's the reason we did not find. Just give me two minutes, I'll enter the data. How to enter the data? Slash copy. Um, Ganesh, Ganesh, hello, yes, sir. yeah, Ganesh, what is happening is if at all anyone is, uh, is uh, trying to open anything, uh, anything from their mobile, no, it is, uh, um, the share is going off from my side. Just now someone has opened something and uh, my share is gone. Okay, uh, try now, sir. Please don't open, uh, don't open anything uh, during the class. Uh, it is actually, uh, now my share is gone. People started uh, viewing your, your screen. See now again, again now I could able to see my screen. And um, faculty members, please, please instruct your students not to open anything, uh, anything through their mobile or through their laptops during this particular time okay automatically what it is happening is this screen is getting shared and whatever i am sharing is getting lost so i i suggest and i request faculty members 
to convey this to your students. Sir. Employee count. These are the tables actually involved in the employee addition. I will I will take that particular column, number of companies, the next active TYC group. Okay, this copy copy is done. Next step is we need to give the path. from what is this part the employee attrition table this is a part this is Tables, tables slash employees, and in this slash, Slash employee addition dot CSV delimiter CSV header. CSV header. Copy, copy into employee addition table. Now I am trying to copy into employee addition table whatever the column, whatever the data is there in that particular file. Somewhere in between problem copy and job satisfaction job role. Line to monthly income dollar two six. Monthly income is in dollar two six four. Monthly income and monthly rate. I think both are mentioned as integer. Okay, this is in where care, this is in control H. This dollar, dollar, you remove eventually, comma, and you make this as the numeric form. Now let's see, it should work now. 
because of the formatting issue here i have mentioned that as an integer and here i have mentioned that as a number and there it is in integer form that is the reason you did not get that yeah see now 1470 if you if you just select select count of one from from employee attrition you'll get 1470 now let's go over here now let's go to our question now if i refresh this see now you got here 14 1470 so what i'll make now i'll make this as total total employees okay now i made this as total employees and let me do one thing in this non model let me try to create another another folder in this in this non model i'll create employee employee attrition this is another project in this create okay now in this employee attrition what i do total employees detail whatever is there this total employee details i'll move into see here directly i can move this into this particular scene otherwise otherwise also we have option move this item generally it will move like this or move this way also refresh now employee addition if you see employee details are there so all these employee employee related details no i will keep I will keep in this. So next question. Next question, employee, employee attrition. I'll take this employee attrition, employee attrition, count of rows based upon, count of rows based upon the gender. I'll make this as based upon the gender. And I'll make this as, gender gender wise employee employee details and again i will save in this employee attrition okay now if you see this you will get female as f male as 588 male 882 so this is the count and if i want to change this uh, gender is okay count if i want to to change anything no i can go to this particular place sorry i can go to the other one right count i can go to the count and i can change the i can make as employee employee count done now it became employee count female male And in the same way, let me try to write another query called how many are still working. See this employee, if you take this employee attrition, employee attrition rate, this particular exam, the, in this particular project, what we are actually trying to see is how many are working and how many left the organization. If they left, how many are male, how many are female? Okay and how many left because of whatever the reasons see active quit monthly income monthly income greater than less than just we want to understand which group of uh, sector people left the organization more now let us try to gender we have seen right and second step what we'll do is how many are how many are working in that organization and how many how many left the organization now 
that is there in attrition. Again, count of rows, attrition. If you see 1233, uh, otherwise there is another column called active, active quit, active quit. If you select this also, you will get active 1223, 1233, quit 237. So again, I will mention employee attrition employee attrition details again i will place in this particular and then in this particular folder attrition save not no then like this in every project what we will be doing is we will be writing our questions another question i'll write Another two, three questions I'll write and we'll go into the dashboard attrition. Attrition in this we'll we'll try to see. We'll try to see how many actually age group is also there 21 to 30, 31 to 40, month, monthly income group. Okay, promotion, how many uh, how many years they took? For getting next promotion is promotion also a cause for people leaving the company okay or people leaving the company or entry level people or managerial level people or mid-level people intermediate level people what level people are leaving the organization so these three one two three four five five all these five questions we'll try to see the reasons okay now i am i am taking another question simple question attrition in this attrition i am taking the count count in this age group see this Below 20, yes, 28 members left. 21 to 30, 658 people left. 31 to 40, 619. So people who are leaving the company are in this particular region. 21 to 50 in this particular region. And that too, between 600, uh, between 31 and 40, you are having 619 people left the organization. employee attrition by age group i'll mention this as by age group okay now this one also i will take into employee attrition table not no now another question employee attrition table from this table, count of rows, then monthly income group. See here also, those who are getting less salary, 2K to 5K, 5K to 10K, they are leaving more, around how many? I'll sort this by count, then then you'll get to know. Sorting by descending, I need to do sorting by descending. I'm doing sorting by descending, then you'll observe. See, 2K to 5K, 716 people. 5K to 10K, 440 people. Right, these many are there in this. Out of 1470, these many are there. From this 716, 440, how many, how many left? Let's see in our next next steps. Employee attrition. I'll mention employee attrition by by monthly by monthly income by monthly income group. Okay. Uh, 
Yes. See, like this, for each and everything, we need to prepare one one question and place this in that particular file. Now, I'll go for the next question. Employee attrition. Employee attrition. I take count of rows. The next right total year total working years group TWI means total working years group. So I got this particular below two years, above two years. And if I again do the setting based upon the count, again I will sort this based upon the count. And it is in descending order. Now this is the order. Intermediate 2 to 10, 800 are there. Okay, here I'll make this as employee. Everywhere it is employee count. Employee attrition by TWY group. Okay, then next I'll be placing this in employee attrition. Now this is also done. Now what we'll do is before we we do some other activities as part of ask a question, let us try to create a dashboard. See, create a dashboard. I'll mention this as NM, NM, NM training dashboard. Okay, this I will I will keep in NM data analysis. Now this will be as of now this will be empty. Now first step what we need to do is we need to bring the Questions, whatever the questions we have made, right? See, if you take non modal data analysis, in this non modal data analysis in employee attrition, all these are the questions which we made. And in the same way, these are some of the questions which we made. We made last. Last week. Okay, so all these. We will form as a data analytics dashboard data analytics dashboard. So first I'll bring all the questions. Employee attrition. Just. Just I'll click all this. Attrition details. Addition by age group, addition by monthly, gender wise, gender wise total details. And from this, from this also, let me try to bring another details. See, whatever the grass, whatever we have made, everything now I brought into this particular. This particular dashboard. This is what at the end of the day you need to do. Your end output should come like this. Okay. Now, after bringing this, what is my next step is to apply a filter condition. Filter condition means if I don't want to get all these details, I want only few details. I want to do filtering based upon the country or based upon the attrition or based upon some particular condition in Excel in Excel or in uh, if you take this power. This employee attrition also in this also we we have done uh, some see how we'll filter. I'll take this data and filter. 
okay if you filter now you are having 1400 and 1470 in this you are having 1470 out of this 1470 if you do filter on false you will get 1233 if you do filter on true you will get 237 okay if you do filter on uh, male you will get some 150 if you do filter on female you will get some 87 now like this in our in our database also what we will do is first once we bring entire data over here next step is we will we will actually filter start filtering the data how to do filter is edit in this edit you have a filter option see here filter time location id other categories if it is a date related or any other stuff now then you can go with the time operation otherwise state city or anything you can go with location otherwise you need to go with other categories other categories okay in this other category i'll mention attrition first is attrition then i'll i'll apply another filter called gender okay then next i'll apply another filter called age group age group okay three filters i have applied now after applying the filter what i need to do is that filter i need to link with these particular with these particular columns whatever the columns are there those particular columns i need to validate segment no valid fields no valid fields here it is showing like this when you get this problem what you need to do is go to this admin admin data model attrition i need to give this category category just a minute please i need to change this to category otherwise what will happen is we will not uh,
we cannot actually assign the values over there. Let me change this to category first. Attrition, business travel, the next distance from home, education field, not required. Employee, yeah, gender, gender. What are the columns which you actually want to do? You as a filter condition, you need to, we need to categorize that. In this, we are having different, different type of categories. We need to categorize that. Then only we can able to filter that particular condition. I'll show once I do this. Okay, even we are having marital status also. Marital status is there. Then next, what are the other columns? Total hours. Okay, I am going back. I am going back to this. Now, if you take this particular, and if you try to edit this, see now, before it was actually disabled, now it got enabled. See now, now everything, everything were enabled. Why? Because I have selected that particular category. Now gender also enabled, age group also enabled. So now what I need to do is for this particular chart, I need to give this attrition. Okay, I need to select whatever the column I have actually want to filter. Now I am filtering all this and in this we don't have. Next is the gender. We have the gender also, see here gender. 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 gender the next year also you don't yeah you are having gender here also gender here you have the gender here also you are having gender wherever the gender is there you can you can go with the gender option in this gender is not there okay now age group in this first, first is the age group. See now, age group is not over here. Why? Because I have not included that into category. That is the reason age group you are not seeing. Understood, right? Now age group is not seen. Now what I'll do is I will go into this admin data model and employee attrition. In this, at the last, you will be having age group C. No, it is in no semantic type. I need to make this as a category. I made this as category. Active pit also. Active pit also as. Active pit also as category. And any other any other columns which I need to? Monthly income group, those things not required. Okay, I have made this as. Now again, if you take this non model this training. One minute, sorry, I didn't save this a minute. Just 
Okay, the gender. 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 Customer and in this also we have gender. Yeah, gender. Okay, in this gender will not be there. No, age group. Age group, if you observe, before age group was not there, no, age group also got included, right? See, no. Whatever the columns you want to actually give as filter, you need to make that as a category over there. You need to go to that particular table, and in that particular table, again, once this is done, no, again, I'll show one more time how to do that age group. Before that, let me save age group. Sorry, age group, age group. And in this age group is not there. Now I'll be saving this. So whatever you want to, you want to do as a, as a report, no? Everything you need to add over here and you need to save that. See now, if I, if I select this, I can give the details. See, true or false? False. I'll do filter. No, false details can. And gender. Gender. Male, female. Female, male, female. I'm giving male, male. So when I do this filter, automatically see, you will be getting only male or female related details. See here, yeah, male 732, total employee 732, male, male. So whatever the filter I take, again, age group. Age group, just type something. If you type something, automatically it will come. 21 to 30, 41 to 50, add filter. Now, if you add filter, no, you will get details accordingly. Now, next step is, see now this uh, data, whatever is there, four, four questions I have added in a single line. If I want to have only two, I can have only two like this. I can expand this. I can expand and I can have only, only, two, three, whatever you feel comfortable to that particular place, those many questions I can. See in this, this is of 18, 18 square boxes. In this 18 square boxes, when you are going with, with the two boxes, you can give space of nine, nine. Or if you are going a space of, if you want to keep three, then you can go a space of around how many? Six, six. Or if you want to go for four, you want to go with the four, four, and in between some, you need to give uh, some other space. See, like this, I will expand. Like this, I will expand. Now, if I want to expand this further down, I can expand this further down. Now, I will keep this also. I'll keep this also in a row. Okay, and graphs in next row. And just move here and there. Automatically, it will move. Use your cursor and move. Now, I'll be increasing the size of this. I am moving this. See, now I am moving this. And let me increase the size of this. I have increased size of this or if it is, if you feel that it is bigger, you can, you can fit as per your convenience or as per your 
project requirement. Chino. I have taken two, three, and even this one, if I want, I can make as a single file also. See, because this is a pivot table, I am increasing the size of this. And see, you are having a cursor. You are having a cursor here. Now what I'll do, no, I will increase this to the maximum length. I will increase this to the maximum length so that you will get your details in a neat fashion over here. And once you are done, you can, you can actually save this. And if you want to give, if you want to give any heading to this, how you can do is, now this, this is okay, right? But whenever we are maintaining any dashboard, we need to ensure that it is, see, if you are coming down, the space between these two is same, and you get some straight line like this. Otherwise, it doesn't look neat. It doesn't look that appealing to your customers. So when we are making this, we will ensure that the spacing and other things are, are correct and it looks neat. See now. I'll reduce this by one and I move this aside and I will make this. See now, if you drag, see it looks, it looks neat. Otherwise, if you want to have a full page, you can have your full page like this. Now save. Now I want to give some heading to this. I want to give some heading. I'll mention double quotes. Double hash. If you if you don't give this double hash, what will happen is the size will be like this only. I I want to mention something like employee attrition, employee attrition report. I have prepared a dashboard. I want to give some name to this particular dashboard. So I am giving name like this. See now. And I want to I want to make this as a bold. I want to make this as bold. See now. Saving this. No, see, it became bold. Otherwise, if you if I don't give this hash, this hash is uh, is HTML and C uh, and uh, in HTML we'll be using hypertext language, hypertext code. If I don't give this, what will happen is your implementation will be like this only, without any headings or anything. Sorry, without any bold or without any increase in the size. So what I'll do is I will make this as hash hash. I'll give double hash. Then next, if I want to bring this to middle, there is an option called C here. Middle, bringing to middle, bringing to center, background on, off. We have background on or off. If it is on, you can see the background. See, in this only you can review actually. See here. Now it is in the now it is in the middle. If you want to give at the top, then, then next left, see here, top and left. Right? Like this, you can actually, if I remove this background, now observe. Now I remove this. Let me try to bring this to center, middle and center. Now this is done. Okay. Now this employee attention, whatever the heading that I have given, 
that is at the bottom. I want to bring this to top, means just drag this to the top. Just take this to the top level, automatically it will come. She know. I'm bringing this to the top. Now this is employee attrition report. She know. Because I have removed the back. See if you observe. I have removed this uh, show background. If I keep the show background, what will happen is it will show the white, whatever the white box is there, that will show. See now, that is showing like this. If I remove this, it will not show the white background. White background or white box. See now. Save. See now. Okay, now again, let us try to work on some of the questions. I'll go to this non mudal In this non mudal I'll go to this global stores. And in this global stores, let me try to average sales. Average sales. Average of sales per country city city and country i'll make city and country okay and in this let me try to apply a filter called country is united states country is equal to united states sort by average sales top to bottom now you got your values like this if i want to make this a visualization different type of visualization or map let's see how it looks by waterfall yes map map world map or you can or you can go with usa map the next metric field what is a metric field average sales region field is city see now Country is and region field is a city. Done. Now see here. Washington. I think only we are having Washington. Let me try to see this visualization. Average sales city. Country is this many are there. Map. Map. Only it is showing. All these are not showing. Okay, I'll take. Pin map or region map. And let me go with world. The metric field is this. City is this. Let us go with this particular option only map and United States. What are the combination of colors you want? No, 
you can choose those colors from this. Uh, city is Washington. On this uh, state, let me see. City and state also might be there in this. Uh, city and state. If I choose this. Uh, now we have New York. If I make this visualization map. And if I change this to state, let us take state. See now. Different cities and different see now. Every place you have some data and this data. Now I'll, I'll save this. Average sales in United States. And this you can apply in this. Okay, after creating a new one, if I want to add this, add in our new dashboard, what I need to do is I need to select this dashboard. I need to just edit, edit and press add question. In this add question, you just take whatever the field you want. See average sales in United States. If I select this, this will also get added in this. See now. The more colors, the more data. See the more data you add. And the more visuals you actually add, that much, that much appealing your dashboard looks. If you if you only give data, 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 okay, a dashboard doesn't look that nice. If you if you incorporate some visuals like this, no, then your data, your uh, whatever the dashboard, no. That looks more and more neat or more and more appealing. Right? Now I'll what I'll do now employee by attrition by each group. Now I have actually created some dashboards and and I'll go to this particular dashboard. I'll go to this. Let me try to change a few of the dashboards. See now I have the age group, right? This age group, what I'll try to do is I'll try to make this as, see now. I'm making this into different, different, different options. Now you know, right, how to actually make visuals. Now let us try to make these visuals into different styles. Gender wise details. This gender wise details, female, male, we got like this, right? So let us try to visualize this in pie chart. For I'm going to this again. Attrition. Now you are having the data like this, right? And now I'll I'll go with the row wise. Bar wise we have seen. Row wise also we have seen. I have made changes to this, right? Now let us go to our main dashboard. Now just see how it looks. C 
machine oh. different different styles different different styles ha graphic ke po right different different type ke po now let us go to the final topic in this final topic what we will actually see is now we are uh, we have used simple table single table now if i want to use some multiple tables how i will use there is a option called join as well see now i will take a simple question non dal id vand employee attrition employee attrition i want to see the department wise count of rows count of rows okay of department but in this department we are having only the number i want to see if you see this department we have 1 2 3 what is 1 2 3 this 1 2 3 are there in some other table called department now i want to add now i want to join that particular department into this particular table now then i have an option called join data join data and in this join data for oh, department details not there okay then we'll go for education field education field in this education field you have education field the next education field id now i have joined over here now what i will do i will select the see now you will look two different table information one is employee attrition table and kila m education field table so i will be taking education field description and i will be taking gender from this employee attrition so i can take i can take different different columns from different tables now i have selected two tables okay now now just check female male 588 the next i have not added department department description department description and see this or department field and department description education field employee field is equal to let me try to take employee satisfaction employee satisfaction employee satisfaction employee satisfaction employee employee satisfaction and employee satisfaction description see now employee satisfaction 284 to 87 287 is employee satisfaction is okay this employee satisfaction employee satisfaction is numeric this employee satisfaction is also numeric then count of rows based upon this particular visualize we are one minute select the count of one from
Select start from. Select distinct department from. One, two, three. Ah, see here. This department or this department are different and that department is different. Just give me two minutes. Let me try to create this education field. Okay, education field already there. Select. Select a star from. Uh, you don't have values here. Let me try to insert values. 6 values I have inserted. Now in this, let me try to refresh. Employee addition and education field in this. Education field, education field ID. Education field, education field ID. The next one. Education field, the next education field description. See now. Technical degree, technical degree, these many, these many are there. This is not don't out of him. Don't hit. Say this. These many are there. Okay, if I remove this, you'll get this value. Human resource, human resource. In this, what I have done is I have used a join operator between employee attrition table and the education field. In this education, we have an education field column and in the education field table, you have educational field ID table. So using this, uh, these two table, I have created a join and I am, I started picking values, employee attrition. The next, if I want the gender also, I can have gender. So this is the information. In life sciences, if you take female, female, male, two not two and this. And this one also, if you want to have a combo chart, you can go with the combo chart. X axis, you can go with this particular option. Y axis is count, see now. In this, if you want to add any other series, you can add series also, see. This is uh, called, this we called as a combo chart. See, you have one line chart and another is the bar chart. If you click on this bar chart, you will get bar chart information. And if you take this, this is the female gender 8, female gender 240, Female is, see, male 366. Female is this. Male, female, male, female, like that. This is a combo chart. Combo chart in that we'll be using two different, two different type of charts. That is the reason this is called a combo.
Okay, this we call as combo chart. So I have done with my today's today's session. And uh, for next uh, next 10, 15 minutes, we can have a we can have a discussion. Uh, Ganesh, can you uh, can you allow uh, uh, the students to chat or ask their questions, sir? Ganesh, are you there? I have enabled the yeah. chat session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those who are having doubts, no, you can uh, you can ask your questions. Those who haven't, how many of you actually installed MetaBase? Uh, those who haven't installed MetaBase, try to install that MetaBase and uh, and start working on the MetaBase topics. I have showed uh, uh, I have showed more options uh, uh, in today's class completely. I have focused on metabase topics only. Okay, those who are having any doubts, you can ask. I'll I'll be there for next uh, ten minutes. Then we can wind off and you can start doing your practice. Ganesh, is anyone typing in the chat? First of all, I'm not I'm not seeing any chats over here. Just now the okay. Sir, uh, you send the notes of today's class. Yes, I'll be sending how to install. Sir, you speak very fast, so didn't understand. Super. Okay. How to install MetaBase? Uh, this last week in last week uh, class I have mentioned and even I have shared a word document on this Gayatri. Uh, you can you can take uh, that particular document and in that document I have mentioned the step by step. Uh, otherwise, in two days, uh, two days after today class also. I will share this MetaBase installation document. Yes, today's no Kiritika, today's notes also I'll be I'll be sharing. MetaBase is so critical for us, sir. Can you please, sir, last Tesla NM ID name put on, sir, any problem in there?
I don't think uh, any problem with that. Your name, your your name, your college, your name, your college is mentioned, right? But NMID is also mandatory. Why? Because that will be easy for us to uh, to get from where you actually from. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Is there class on Thursday? I don't think, but still we'll be uploading, uh, we'll be updating in the chat. Uh, one minute, please. Uh, Ganesh, do we have class Thursday, Independence Day? No class, right? Uh, we'll confirm and uh, update. Yeah, we'll confirm and update, okay? Sir, is it necessary, is it necessary to submit all exercises? Yes two ways that will be necessary one way it will be helpful for you to gain knowledge second way second is uh, second is you need to uh, for getting your marks or anything you need to submit these exercises for this you can contact uh, to your faculty members That uh, that will uh, check and will let you know. NMID, NMID. Uh, sir, if there is MP, uh, that's what I am mentioning. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll confirm that uh, uh, either by tomorrow, whether you have class. If class is there, MCQ will also be there. Class then MCQ will also be there. Otherwise, again, we'll meet on next Tuesday only. Next Monday, not Tuesday, sorry. For data analytics class, next Tuesday. Yes, I will send. Shenmukha Priya, I will send. I'll share, uh, I'll share later. Uh, you can uh, get from your uh, faculty members. Uh. MCQ test marks. Uh, Ganesh, uh, with whom the MCQ text marks will be? Only sir. for you, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, Ganesh. Ah, so long, sir. Yes, sir. Who will be having uh, uh, this? Uh, what is this? Uh, MCQ test marks. I will ask Shiva sir and uh, okay okay then okay metabase use on the purpose metabase is used for data visualization nine uh, show for nature right see uh, in the Madhuri, if you want to show to your management peria peria uh, if you are having very big data, you cannot show the data as it is. In that case, no. If you show your data in this particular format, it will be very helpful for them to take decisions. Okay. How to install Metabase? I'm facing problem. What is the problem you are facing while installing Gayatri? Okay, point noted. Next time, Mandu, na rhombus law pesra, okay?
whether it is Tamil or English, also I will speak very slowly. Ah, uh, Gayatri, in the question, what is actually metabase one do? Definitely, Harish. Every day, uh, final exam lo if oh, um, Varuma sir, yes. Shenmuga Priya laptop la mobile la work pandra. Madri range pandunga. Uh, mobile mo voice purile. Okay. Uh, see, metabase or any of these uh, uh, technologies, no, all these uh, technologies, all these technologies, whatever are there, are only work in either laptop or desktop. Okay, not open in laptop, sir. What is the problem? And the problem with the laptop one do? And the mother problem one one and the problem is screenshot and put on okay. Now, our mother check for you will, sir, sir, Ilana, madam, Ilana, the group and the uh, group on the podana now or model check panni as the key and the panano nasolra. Okay, Alika from the problem were other. NMID, I'll put my name any problem, sir. NMID as your prechina ill actually. I'll send the screenshot. Okay, Amma. Uh, screenshot and put on now. Maru check pani. I'll uh, I'll let you know. Okay, okay, okay. I'll talk very slowly. See, only one thing when when we are okay opening this chat. You are spamming this chat. Adikida actually in the chat a close panni last la chat open pandra. Now model one the chat open panni na inna pandra ellar inge WhatsApp WhatsApp madhe chatting pandra inge. Okay. Anna madhe pana kuda right. Anna madhe panni na namaku vary option hai illa actually. We will close that. If if I close this uh, chat and if I take my class, last class, sir, class is purile. Sir, you are going very fast. Yes, yes, I understood. I understood. All your questions or all your concerns, I am understanding. But. Now, whatever Vishayam uh, Sandra, okay. If you if you are disciplined, Nama kita madhe problem me varada. If I am going fast and na English ko jab fast hai er karna, madal madal le nama ko tellu manna na jamari slow up over chances er kar. But na in the chat open pan in the paringa hi 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 message pandra. Isi ki po hi messages nama ko. In the mother spam pandra every time in the mother spam pandra. Adikida nama actually chat close pandra. Chat close pandina na in whatever I am teaching. If you are not understanding, apo edo pandano. We are happy to. We are coming and teaching to you, right? Why we are coming and teaching to you? To make you people understand.
and in the chat open pa rin na in the chat one the high messages so low messages so the next uh, heart messages so in the mother messages po touch na